Yo, what is up guys, JB Games here and I'm here today bringing you the start of my F1 2012 career mode let's play uh, here on the main menu because I want to show you guys the full process of picking your team and everything uh, because that's what I'd want to see if I was watching a let's play on YouTube. So let's, uh, let's get going, career, season challenge, we'll do that some other time. We're going to do our career today. Now, what teams should we go? I don't really want to go as Maurice or HRT because, you know, they're just, like, a bit too slow for my liking. Caterham, they'd be, in my opinion, I think the Caterhams would totally beat up the HRT, but they wouldn't be able to keep up the Toro Rosso. Oh, can't go as Williams. Um, I'd like to go as Force India because I like Force India. I think they're a great team. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, see how we go with Force India. Sahara, Force India. Awesome. Welcome to the Career Hub. This screen allows you to manage your career and view information about the season. Let's take a look around. This is the Hub menu. As you move through the menu, the screen... Ah, oh, so we're just listening. Crofty's just, Crofty's just, uh, telling us some info about this. At the top of the screen is the race calendar. You'll notice that some races have icons associated with them. These indicate that something special will happen at that weekend. You can view a guide to each circuit by selecting it in the calendar and pressing to view more information. The email <laughs> system provides you with key information throughout the season, so it's important to check here regularly. That's the key features of the Career Hub. Be sure to have a look around before you go out on track. Awesome. Well, Crofty's just talked us through this like hub thing, and it looks really awesome. And we just got our first achievement. Uh... Right. So what? This... I just check my objectives. Hang on. I'm just gonna go on uh, busy so I don't get all these notifications. Okie dokie. Right. Let's have a look at our objectives. Okay. So our qualifying position we should be aiming for is twelfth. Alright, let's, uh, let's go, let's go to session, start in practice free, which is interesting, so, let's have a look at the clippings, can anyone match Vettel? Force India signed Jamie Games, what a lad. Oh. Yeah, so this is going to be really awesome. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do full qualifying. Um, I'm going to skip this practice session. Go straight to qualifying. Uh, I'm going to do full qualifying. Hopefully you can do it like, so it's Q1, Q2, Q3. Or should we do the R&D? Let me show you around. The car monitor provides you with important information. Just listen to this guy talking quick. There's a lot of useful information here. Feel free to check it out later. When you're ready to go out onto the track, skip sessions, or just want to know what your session objectives are, then you just need to ask. Okay, right, well, for this one, I'm going to go straight to qualifying, because I'd like to qualify. Start qualifying straight away, so it's entertaining as possible for you guys, because that'd be awesome. Right, Q1. Let's go. 12 or above. Okay. I'll just check that there are three qualifying so Yeah, there are. Okay. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, so let's uh, go qualifying. Let's go drive out because then we can, you know, just get a feel for the car, etc. So, yeah, this series is going to be. I'm going to. Like I said, I'm going to have qualify in one video and the race in another. I think I'm going to do a 25% length race, even though it will be like a half an hour video. So if you guys are cool with that, then let me know down in the comments. If not, then tell me what I should do to make it, uh, you know, uh, not too long for you guys. and But still, like, most of the race. Okay, so we've got John Eric Verne and the Toro Rosso ahead of us on track. I'm not sure for how much longer though, because we are looking mighty fast. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll start off doing the first season of F1 career, and then see how long it takes, and then if there's enough time, 
uh, then I will start a second season, I guess. So This game, the handling is so different on this game. Basically, what I found, like, you might have found, guys, if you're driving and then you break into a corner, you find that you just randomly spin at the end of the corner. I know why this is. It's because when you break into a corner, if you break for too long, your wheels, like, lock or they just... Like as you go to power out the corner, if you if your brakes are still sort of, it's really hard to explain. But basically, you can't hold your brakes on forever for that corner. And that sounds really like weird, but you have as soon as the racing line is green, you have to uh, you have to lift off the brake because otherwise you will spin. That's what I found. That's top tip number one in the career mode. <laughs> so. Hopefully we can get a bit of a tow from John Eric Vern here. Perhaps if we can get close, but I doubt we'll be able to get close. So Wow. Sharp peak, very slow out of the pits there. Gonna affect my time. So let's just try Ooh, get a slipstream off uh, John Eric Vern at some point, you know, because look, we're right up behind him now. So just uh, gotta be careful with grip as we will lose grip when we are behind him in the turbulent air. I didn't know. Just like uh, pointing that out. You can hear the, hear the wheels screeching so bad. So yeah, I've just been playing this game like all weekend just casually, just like playing around on it and it's really really awesome. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my champions mode video I did the other day then a link to that will be in the description, it's also on my channel obviously, if you want to go check that out. Uh, it's with, well, against Kimi Raikkonen, it's really, really awesome, the game mode is really awesome, and we've run wider shitter. Right there, so that is going to be rubbish, we're going to have to set another qualifying lap in this session. So, aim for 12, so that we should be fairly easily into Q2. Uh, I found the difficulty. The difficulties on this game, guys, are untrue. Legend is too hard. I'm, like I know it sounds really, really gay, but it's literally too hard for me. Because, like, I'm just my teammate set the fastest lap, two and a half seconds faster than me. But we did run wide and Perez. That's what annoys me on this circuit. Like, people. When they come out of the pits and they're so slow into that first corner, when you're all coming around really, really fast, it just so annoying. And what the? Okay, we're driving quite bad. <laughs> if we are struggling to set a fast time, then towards the end of the session, I will uh, whack on the rich mix, rich fuel mix. Um, if you didn't know, you can change your fuel mix this time around. I didn't know that until like I got it and I just randomly pressed the button on my uh, wheel. But you can now edit your fuel mix, which can edit, well, basically give you more speed. Uh, I think. Power, that's it. It's like power to it. If you've got like the highest fuel mix on, then loads of power going to the engine. Whereas if not, yeah. By the way, I'm on professional difficulty, which is second from highest on the game. I know that's gay, and I've got uh, racing line in the corner, but it's literally just for the breaking points. Like I don't need the line through the corner because you can see the dark patches on the road. That's where tyres have been worn into the track, making the racing line. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace here. So yeah, I, I w this e this series will change obviously throughout. You know, I'll pick up ideas from you guys, um, think of things myself to add in or change perhaps. And we have spun at the corner. Brill. That's what I mean. I held the brakes on for too long there, and you just spin. It's annoying. There's nothing you can do about it. So yeah, the difficulty is just really hard. Like. I don't know what. But I want to make this series realistic. I don't want to make it like last, like F1 2011, where I'd pretty much win every race and land on pole every time. 
because even in even though I wasn't a McLaren, that wasn't in career mode though. So yeah, I just want to make it realistic. So like, I want to be close to my teammate. That's that's what I want. I don't want to aim for winning or coming in the top three every single race because that's not entertaining. Like Force India, like love Force India. I think they're a great team and everything, but they're not realistically. They're not going to be competing in the top three every week, are they? Every race. So I want to make it realistic. So if I am in the midfield for most of this season, then that's real, and I think that's the best way to go about it. IMO, what do you guys think? Post down in the comments below. And this is going to be my last flying lap before I have to pit the fuel, I think. Yep. That's more competitive, that's what I'm talking about. 0.8 seconds off the pace, that is not bad at all. I think I will pit this lap though, depends. Yeah, I think I'm more happy. We'll see how we go. If our sector times are up, then we will carry on, but I don't think they are after that turn. But, yeah, so career mode, this is going to be really awesome. It's going to be a long term series, obviously, because it's going to be long videos as well. Okay, so apparently we're down on sector one. High temps are good, even though we're sector plus over the right hand side there, which is a bit strange. Hmm. See so yeah, how we are on sector two, three sector two, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, I've just been really enjoying this game. Any of you guys using the uh, Code Masters Race Net? That I think that's really really awesome. I love it. Like uh, they have like events on there. Um, yeah, we're not gaining time here. Yeah, if we have a slow final sector, I'll just, yeah, I'll back in the pits. But, um, yeah, any of you use the Codemasters race net, it's really, really awesome. They have, like, events on there, like, this one on there at the moment is Singapore. And basically, you just got to set your time and you get, like, XP according to how well you do. At the moment, I'm in the, like, towards gold time. Um... Which is pretty cool, I guess, and it's really awesome. So, any of you guys are on there, let me know down in the comments, and uh, we can, you know, check out profiles or whatever, I don't know. Whatever you do on there, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so, let's just celebrate a bit of time in Q1. See how it goes. If there, if people start going ahead of us, then we can whack it back out on track. Let's go 30 times. Seventh. That's really, really good for a Force India. And Alonso set time as well. Just looking out for Hamilton and Button. They're probably going to push. Okay, I think we should be safe in the top 17. I don't think we're going to lose 10 places in the space of five minutes. So we are safe through to Q2, guys. We are in Q2. And if we can finish seventh again... We'll be in Q3, a top 10 shootout. So Lewis Hamilton's on pole for the Singapore Grand Prix today. Uh, I'm going to watch it, I love the night race, absolutely love it. Uh, it's on a, starts at 1 o'clock on Sky F1, if you didn't know. Uh, I'm going to watch that, might do some posts on Twitter maybe. My link to my Twitter is always down in the description, every single video. So let's uh, get out on track and pump some times in for Q2. Our revs were really low there for a second. So yeah, I would have uploaded the rest of the Young Drivers test for this Let's Play, guys, but I didn't think it was that fun, and I did day one of uh, that from the demo. Uh, I uploaded day one. It's on my channel. So, if you want to check that out, go check it out. It's awesome. So, so, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, just one thing I want to talk about quick. 
Uh, on the race now, I don't know if any of you guys have done like time trial mode where you basically just go and set really fast laps. Anyway, um, I was doing that and I went on top 10. Like, there's a if you look go on the track that you set the time on and you click top 10, it's really weird. It makes you feel like you're in the top 10 in the world, but you're not. So, it really, really weird. I'm not sure. But I was like fifth out of the top 10, and they're not my friends. Because, like, none of my friends have this game. Because no one likes F1. I love F1. Like, some of my friends, they go like, Oh, yeah, F1's boring. I only watch the first corner. Because they all crash. And, like, I just thought, what? Like, I think F1's really entertaining. I don't know about you guys. I just think, like, the strategies and all that. Uh, and the tyres. Pirelli made a great tyre range. They made the, the uh, championship so competitive this season. It's been great. And this is not a bad lap, I don't think. Uh, aim for about 130-ish. 129.9. That's not bad for a Force India. And that was really bad braking. But, um, yeah, Pirelli have done great with the tyre range. Made it really uh, competitive, especially towards the top. Like, n like, last season, Vettel was absolutely running away with it. Whereas this season... I don't think it, uh, partially it could be because Red Bull have lost that blown diffuser uh, that provided them more grip in corners, but um, yeah, I just think the tyre range just made it great. Like some te The teams that weren't that good last season have sort of come out a bit more uh, due to the fact that they can work better with the tyres, so... And Kobayashi has gone faster than us by 0.8 of a second. Oh. Little 0.6 down this sector alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just. I'm just gonna literally just keep going until. the end. No, I'm not going to drive for like 15 minutes. But. Oh crap! That was, that was horrendous. Apologies. Shit! That was a really bad place to flash back into. Okay, so lack of grip in this corner, but get back in the racing line and get rid of that down there. I'm sure. So yeah, but the four seniors have been like real life. They've been really competitive this season, I believe. Took a bit too much care there, but um, yeah, I think they're going to be a good team next season. You know, they'll probably get some more investment due to how well they've done this season. Um, and then, yeah, this is live, by the way, because like loads of people I've seen on here do these F1 videos, like career mode, let's plays, or whatever. And then they just like don't do them live. I was like, what? Oh, on the DRS too early. I do that all the time. I just get on the DRS way too early. I'm just I love a DRS. Open that rear wing, biatch. And we are purple in sector one, so we can keep this pace up through sector two and three. We could jump up the order. That was good. So yeah. I might talk like start talking about topics. If you guys like want a specific topic to do with F1 or anything that you want me to talk about in these like, career mode videos, because they're gonna be quite long. It's gonna be quite hard for me to talk for what 20, 25 minutes for a whole qualifying session constantly. So if you have any like topics you want me to talk about or anything you'd like me to give my opinion on then just let me know down in the comments of any of my videos. Just say, like, in career mode, please talk about this. And if it's a good topic and I think that there's plenty to talk about in it, then I will uh, give it a go. And we are way down this lap. I thought it was top 10. Why is it 12? Oh, no, that's where we've got to qualify, isn't it? Right, this is it. This is the flying lap that we're going to have to bang in. 
Whack the rich, whack the rich mix on, bro. Even though I'll probably just like get nah. We'll pit. I'll pit this lap. Get my fuel. See where I'm losing time compared to the other drivers on the computer, and uh, yeah, get back out. So I'd like to get into Q3. That would be awesome to beat our target. And I'm in the drop zone. To the shootout. That would be great on professional difficulty and a force India crap to get into Q3. That would be great. And our first race in Formula 1. That would be awesome. But I'll make the video so long. <laughs> Yeah, let's pit. Let's pit, bro. Where's my teammate, actually? Did he get knocked out in Q3? I don't know. I'll check I'll check on the PC, man. Check on the, on the PC in my garage. So, 129.6 is what we need to beat to get into the top 10 for the shootout, but I don't think we're going to do that. But still, Q2 is great. And if we finish 11th without beating our target position I'm really sorry if you keep getting like random static it's my phone it's annoying get it all the time <clears throat> okay right let's check the times check the scores on the doors okay in time. Well, pretty good in Sector 1. Sector 3, I guess. No? We're pretty much on the pace everywhere. Right, I'm going to go out. One more flying lap. Let's, let's whack on uh, not a brand new set of option tyres, because we'll use them all up. And let's no, I can't do cast out, can we? Let's go flying lap. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Let's get in that top ten. And we are put straight out into traffic and we have li we literally have one one lap left of time to get ourselves up into the top ten. We're gonna get a great toe down this uh, straight though, it's gonna be great. And DRS too early again. I'm really bad at that. God. And this is our last flashback. We cannot screw up. We can just, if we can get past these guys using their toe. Which we're not going to. We got past one of them. And then Mark Webber can give us a toe down here. Good boy. Uh, sorry for the random noise. Just like, I thought I was going to hit the back of Mark Webber. And we are faster than him, and he's holding us up a little bit. Oh my god. We were so close to going off then. Right, we've got to pass this guy because it's annoying me. And we've done it. We are past. Right, let's, uh, let's absolutely rinse it. He gave us a good slipstream, though. That was great. Th thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, pal. And his home Grand Prix. That was bad. And we're still slower than Danny Ricardo. we got to make up time in the last sector or oh, we're screwed. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nah, we're not going to make it. Nope. Oh, just outside. 
two tenths stopped us from getting to Q3, but I think that's a great result. That was higher than our target position. So yeah, thanks for watching, qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix, guys. Uh, yeah, and we'll be back for the race in probably the next video. So, and teammate finished seventh. What if? So, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links in the description as always. Sorry it was a lengthy video, but it was a full qual qualifying session. So, yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, yeah, watch the Singapore Grand Prix today. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, guys.